if an alien race that has figured out the laws of the universe, how everything works, came to Earth and revealed it to us, do you think it would look anything like the way we humans understand it? What if they opened their book of knowledge and we were shocked to see that it only had one page in it? What would be on that page? Well, that one page could very well have no words, but just one image. An image that looks something like this. What is this image and how might it explain all of reality? That's coming up right now. This has sometimes been called the most beautiful mathematical structure in the world. What is it, you ask? Well, try to follow me here. This is a two-dimensional representation of a three-dimensional representation of a four-dimensional projection of an eight-dimensional object. If you follow that in your head, you're way smarter than me. Let's look at it from a different perspective. If you take an eight-dimensional object, which our brains, by the way, can't imagine, and project it in a four dimension, which is closer to our imagination, then represent that in 3D, which we can imagine, then put that on a 2D screen like you're watching right now, this is what you would end up with. This structure is called an E8 Lie group. What does that mean? It's actually a 248 dimensional object, but it can also be thought of as an object that has eight spatial dimensions with 248 symmetries. In the 19th century, the mathematician Sophus Lee created algebraic formulas to describe the shape of symmetrical objects. These are called Lie fields. And then in the late 1890s, Wilhelm Killing found a set of Lie fields that describe perhaps the most complex shape in our universe, the E8 group. This structure is so complex that the drawing you see here took a team of 18 mathematicians four years to calculate and plot using a supercomputer. Why is this structure important? Well, it happens to show up in parts of string theory, but also in 2007, a theoretical physicist and a surfer dude, Anthony Garrett Lisi, published a paper proclaiming that the mathematics of this structure contained all the particles and forces in the universe. He called it the exceptionally simple theory of everything. Now, this was just a pun because there's nothing simple about it. But how can this geometric structure be the key to the fundamental nature of the universe? Well, what you have to understand is that all geometric structures have their underpinnings in mathematics. That is, all geometry can be expressed as math. For example, a circle is 2 times pi times r. A sphere is 4 times pi times r squared. This holds true for this E8 object as well. It's much more complicated mathematics, but the structure can be expressed in mathematical terms. And mathematics happens to be the language of the universe. What Lisi did is he found a relationship between this object and all the forces and particles we know about. How did he do this? First, if you were to look at the structure closely, you would see that it has 248 points or intersections. Just remember that number, 248 for a minute. Now, let me tell you how that number is related to all the forces and particles of the universe. Our best understanding of the universe is represented by the standard model. According to it, there are four fundamental forces in nature, strong force, weak force, electromagnetism, and gravity. And there are 12 fundamental particles. In addition, each of these particles has an antiparticle of itself. So for example, an antiquark or antineutrino. In total, these make up all the elementary particles, and there are exactly 28 of them. 24 elementary particles and four force carrier particles. Each of these distinct elementary particles has eight quantum numbers assigned to it, based on the charges each particle has. This brings the total number of particles to 224, 8 times 28. Lisi found that he could mathematically equate all of these particles to one of the points in the E8 model. But the model, if you recall, has 248 points, not 224. How did Lisi explain these missing points? Well. He simply created 24 new theoretical particles, which he thinks have not been discovered yet. So even though none of these theoretical particles has been found, Lisi's work is still remarkable. Take another look at E8 and notice how the lines radiate from each point. Lisi also found patterns emerging between particles and forces like they happen in actual reality. For example, when photons interact with leptons, they create electrons. The same thing happens in the E8 lattice. 
the connections shown within points on the E8 match up to real known connections between particles in our physical world. If this is just a coincidence, then it's pretty remarkable. One of the particles he assigned to this shape behaves very much like the force carrier for gravity, or a graviton. And this is the key to Lisi's claiming that this could be the theory of everything, because it combines matter particles and gravity in one framework, something that has been a holy grail in physics. So basically, all the normal things we know about, gravity, electromagnetism, weak nuclear force, and strong nuclear force, can be described in terms of algebraic objects. And each of these objects happens to sit inside this complicated E8 structure. Does this mean that this E8 represents the framework of the universe? Or is it just fancy math made to look as if some of it fits reality? Lisi's theory does have some problems. One of the biggest problems with the theory is that Lisi combines force carrier particles, bosons, with the matter particles. Now, string theory does this too, but with a lot of rigorous mathematics to back it up. Now, this kind of math is not present in E8, so Lisi is kind of combining these arbitrarily, and that is not acceptable to most physicists. In addition to this, a leading mathematician and expert on Lie groups, Skip Garibaldi, wrote a paper in 2010 which mathematically disproved Lisi. But Lisi came back with counter arguments to that. So I think the jury is still out. But the elephant in the room is the 24 new theoretical particles that came out of this theory. So it requires the existence of yet undiscovered matter. It's possible that the Large Hadron Collider, which has since started up after Lisi came up with this theory, could find these theoretical particles. Lisi himself says, I'm the first to admit that it's a long shot. In fact, I think that even if one of the new theoretical particles is found, it would be a huge breakthrough towards proving this theory is on the right track. Now, how does this compare to string theory? At least there's a way to prove it, in my view, unlike string theory, where we really don't have a way to prove it. And although E8 has a vast number of dimensions, the physical universe described by the theory would have only four dimensions, which we are familiar with, not the 10 or 11 of string theory. Now, you may have heard of a research organization called Quantum Gravity Research. This group has built a whole company around the idea of E8 being the theory of everything. They have some really well-produced and slick videos on YouTube that you can check out for yourself. They're like mini movies with actors, special effects, and animation. So I commend them for making this science approachable to everyday people. The problem with their videos is that they're mixing actual proven concepts in physics with a lot of unproven concepts, including New Age mysticism. This really diminishes their credibility in my view because the viewer doesn't know which part is true and which part is complete conjecture. For example, their description of crystals and quasi-crystals is spot on. But then they leap from things like this to talking about emergence and how a conscious universe is responsible for creating reality. This is just pseudoscience and they lose a lot of mainstream scientists here. It also doesn't help that their founder kind of has a shady past because he became rich by selling questionable products through infomercials, and now he's supposedly a physicist. And this is a shame because I actually think that many of the elements they're discussing have merit. But the impression I'm left with at the end of watching these videos is that they're trying to force fit factual physics into their founder's personal spiritual philosophy. So I would take concepts in their video with a huge grain of salt. I want to point out though that E8 is a real mathematical structure. It has been around for a long time. Quantum gravity research people did not come up with it. And I think it's an interesting idea. All that needs to be done is for the Large Hadron Collider to find just one of the 24 theoretical particles. And this theory may get hordes of scientists singing its praises. Hey guys, did you enjoy that? Check out some of our other videos. This is what I recommend. This is what YouTube recommends. And if you haven't done so already, then be sure to subscribe by clicking right here. Join the conversation. I'll see you in the comments below.